Right, so Dana and Connor have been over in Dubai talking it over. Ronaldo's now in therapy. And on the strike of midnight on New Year's Eve when the USADA deal ends, the fight will be announced. Now you might think, if Connor's just going to go and fight Chandler, what's there to talk over? This confusion added to by some of Connor's comments at the boxing. Tell us, when are we going to see you in action, bro? Soon, hopefully soon. My talk and these are the name of the opponents here for me now. Now, Chandler's a great matchup for Connor. There's a good chance he won't shoot for a takedown, and he prioritizes excitement when in the cage, which will make it easy for Connor to line up a left and get the win he needs. Sure, the best thing that Chandler could do is go in there and mix it up more than his family's 23 and me, and shoot for more takedowns than Marab on a fucking Adderall. But by the time he gets in there with Connor, he's going to already consider it a win. And he'd be happy to just play along with the striking. He'll do what you're told. If Connor gets through Chandler, I'd be surprised if they didn't immediately give him a title shot. Chandler is ranked fifth at lightweight, so Dana will be able to argue it relatively easily. I have a feeling that's why Dana's kept Chandler so high in the rankings despite all the losses. So everything's looking good. They're just waiting for USADA to be fully fucked off just to be on the safe side. I mean, connor has got less chance of passing a steroid test than Chandler has of passing a paternity test. Is he fucking awesome? Now, I think Connor's comments at the boxing about his mistreatment were more aimed at USADA than the UFC. He did mention he's waiting for an opponent, where similar clips before have had a much different tone. And Michael Chandler is like, it's, it's all signed, sealed, delivered. Michael Chandler, yeah. Can we get your first comment on Michael Chandler as the, the comeback opponent? Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. And then you have Chandler's recent comments about Dana and Connor trying to wait him out. And then you remember Dana saying things like this. Is there any other like super fights that you could see happening over the next like two years or year? There like is. We're talking about one right now, actually, that just popped up a few days ago so i can't talk about it but you know till we get him is it involved with mcgregor yes. at all um well e every fight that you would consider a super fight would would involve mcgregor it looks like they're trying to swerve chandler to go for the diaz trilogy you know dana would rather the diaz fight it's about as safe a matchup as chandler but a much bigger draw dana would be licking his lips like paddy and all you can eat buffet the problem Chandler has is that if Connor fights Nate instead, he gets a similar, possibly even easier matchup and will sell them any more pay-per-views and would still be enough for Dana to wrongly argue a title shot. I mean, Leon nearly got knocked out by Nate and then secured him a title shot. So it obviously looks like a far more appealing option to Dana and Connor. Dana recently said at a press conference that if Chandler gets tired of waiting for Connor, he can find an in-between fight for him. So it looks like Chandler's onto something. I imagine they have something signed by Connor and Chandler committing them to a fight that's connected to the Ultimate Fighter. But Dane is trying to keep Chandler waiting just long enough for him to accept an in-between fight that would then void the contract. But now Chandler's been loudly making it clear that he's going to wait as long as it takes. So now, just watch. They'll be announcing the McGregor versus Chandler fight imminently. Anyway, if you like this video, give us a sub, check out his playlist of recent bangers. I'll see you next time.